Dinosaurs, the giant reptilian beasts from the past, capture our imagination with their terror and splendor. What we know about them comes from years of research. Research started by one woman, Mary Anning. In the seaside town of Lyme Regis, a young Mary collected curiosities from the shore with her father, which together they would polish and sell to tourists. When he died suddenly, the family lost their main source of income. It became even more important for Mary to go out and find these trinkets to sell. What nobody knew at the time was that the curiosities she was selling were actually fossils, the remains of animals that have been dead for often millions of years. Aged only 12, Mary discovered and painstakingly uncovered an entire fossilized skeleton. At first, people thought it was a crocodile. At that time, most people believed that strange unearthed creatures must have come from lands far away that hadn't been properly explored yet. Mary's discovery was actually proof of extinction, which is when all of a particular type of animal die out. Nobody knew then that that could even happen, and the mysterious creature was debated for a long time. It was eventually named Ichthyosaurus, a sea reptile from around 200 million years ago. This was absolutely shocking. Back then, people believed that the Earth was only around 6,000 years old. So, the idea of a 200 million year old animal buried deep with an ancient stone was incredible. Despite her reputation for finding and identifying fossils, the scientific community didn't recognize Mary's good work. She made several other big discoveries, but because she was a woman, she wasn't allowed to join scientific societies. What's worse, male scientists that bought the fossils that Mary uncovered, prepared and identified, took the credit for her discoveries. Today, however, we can see her for who she was, an incredible person who completely changed the way we think about the age of the Earth and the animals that lived on it in the past. She's finally getting the credit that she deserves.